Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about dynamic performance view and data dictionary. What is dynamic performance view? See dynamic performance view provides the access to information about changing state of the instance memory structure. Whatever the changes are going on in the in the Oracle database, that information you can collect it from the dynamic performance view. Like how many sessions are connected, at this moment backup is going on, so what is the status of backup? Then progress of the jobs, sessions, backup status, memory uses, allocation, session parameter and SQL execution. So these are the all the informations available under the dynamic performance view which are always changing. How many sessions are connected at this moment, how many sessions are connected later on, so that all this information you can just collect it from the uh, your V$ session dynamic performance view. You can query the V$ fixed tables to see the all the view names. If you want to see how many dynamic performance we have, that you can just check it from the V$ fixed tables. This is the two examples of dynamic performance view. The first is V$ SQL. So if you want to see which are the SQL statements consuming more than 2 lakhs of seconds CPU time, you can execute this query, select SQL tax, comma execution from V$ SQL from where CPU time greater than 2 lakhs of seconds. Next, how many sessions are connected? So that information you can just collect it from the V$ session, fine. So next is data dictionary view, data dictionary view. What is the data dictionary? So used by Oracle database server to find the information about the user, objects, constraint and storage. So if you want to see like how many users are there in Oracle database, so that information you can just take it from the data dictionary. If you want to see the how many data files we have in Oracle database, that information you can just check it out from the data dictionary view. Also which are the constraints are created, primary key, foreign key, that information also you can just collect it from the data dictionary view. Is maintained by the Oracle database as an object structure is available for the use by any users to query information about the database. Any user can query the, the data dictionary view and it is owned by the sys user. All the data dictionary is owned by the sys user. Here is the example of like if you want to see the how many tables are there. So you can just check it out, select table name, comma table space name from user underscore tables. If you want to see the how many users we have and what is the status of that user like whether it is open or locked or expired that information we can just check it out from the db underscore user and you can describe the also the data dictionary using the describe dba underscore indexes so it will display you the column name and its data type right next data dictionary view three kinds of data dictionary view db underscore all underscore user underscore so db underscore who can query dba can query this uh, data dictionary view and content everything it is going to be display it is subset of nothing nots may have additional columns mean by dba use only some additional columns are there if you are executing db underscore users next if you are executing all underscore users so who can query everyone can query contain everything that has a user has a privilege to see this is the differences between these two here everything you can see here all underscore everyone can query but Everything that the user has a privilege to see, that information is only going to be displayed underscore all underscore users. Subset of db underscore view includes the user own object. Next one is the user underscore. So here everyone can query everything that a user owns and all underscore views is a subset of all underscore view and it is usually the same as a all except for the missing owner column and some views have an abbreviation name as a public synonym. So these are the differences between all and user fine so in this session we have discussed about dynamic performance view and the data dictionary view thank you